What's up YouTube, it's your boy Malik coming to you with the video after a very long hiatus. Um, in the midst of uh, COVID, I hope everybody's being safe and has been kept safe, but um, I'm coming to you from my garage, what I made out of a gym. Um, I'm about a week and a couple of days out from top surgery. And as you can see, I'm still very fluffy. I haven't lost any weight. But I have gotten a great deal stronger. And I'm going to go for some lifetime PRs today. Because it's going to be a long time before I can train again. Um, after the surgery. No, not a long time, two months. I'm down for two months. So, I'm trying to hit my 1,000 pound total today. Um, some of the lifts, I might be reaching a little bit, just trying to get to that 1,000 pounds. I ain't gonna lie, but I'm going for it, right? You know, you only live once. I'm gonna go ahead and go for it. As far as my transition, because it's been so long. Um, it was two years on T in March. We're in late June now, so two years and a couple of months on T. Um, my voice dropped a bit because I've been trying like to kind of train it a little bit. And it's worked out for me somewhat. As you can see, I need a badly in need of a haircut because, you know, COVID, you can't go get your hair cut. Um, has some acne going on. And it's been like that for the last couple of weeks. I've been having uh, little bouts with acne or whatever. Um, for the most part, I pass in public, I would say 90% of the time, over the phone, maybe 50-50, because my voice is just not where it's supposed to be, I'm trying to concentrate on it, make it seem deeper or whatever, but I'm blessed, I'm privileged, like I say, I'm privileged to be able to have this equipment when they close the gyms or whatever. As soon as they closed them, I ordered this equipment. I'm coming from a privileged place to be able to do that because so many guys are itching to go back to the gym even though COVID is still out there. It's still strong. and But I felt them like they want to go back and work out. So, so, you know, I can't judge them on that. But, <clears throat> so I'm coming from a place of privilege. I, Realize my privilege in other spaces the fact that I'm going to get top surgery and I could afford to pay for it or you know I have the insurance that's a privilege so I can't complain too much you know sometimes you got to work at things and you know everything's not going to be kind of handed to you and it, it is okay to work at it and it's okay if you don't never pass it's okay if your voice is never where it's supposed to or where you think it wants to be you're still valid. All right, so I'm gonna put my lifts in, and um, oh, I'll show you my uh, setup first. Hold on. <clears throat> this is my rack. I ordered it after you know they closed my gym, which was the 24-hour fitness, and I had a feeling I was like it's gonna be closed for a while. Like that's my bench right there. <clears throat> Um, I, mean, I was able to order these weights. I think it was um, it came with the 300 and what is it 340 pounds, and then I was able to buy 260 pounds of pig iron from a coworker of mine. Um, my wife has been able to paint some of the iron plates. She she's done most of them. She hasn't got to the 45s yet which I'm not using right now anyway so but she'll get to them that's the dip bar that goes that hooks to the rack it also came on with a landmine bar you see it has the safety scraps here and uh, these also the safety pins I mean because the scraps were a little bit extra I paid for extra because I wanted the scraps but the, I have the pins as backup for safety came with the bar um it's a pretty good setup it's not name brand so you know it's not expensive as the say a rogue setup 
but it does the job and it's been doing the job and my band so I've been getting a good I've been getting a good scrimp workout like I've been doing it three to four times a week so my strength gains are getting up there and um I'll uh, like I said I'm going for PRs PR in the squat a PR in the bench and a PR in the deadlift so I guess I could go ahead and say what the PR is going to be for the for the squat three, 360 pounds for the bench 275 pounds I got a big bench like my squat is look kind of low if you think about it and my deadlift is terrible but my bench is nice it's a big I got a big bench um so I'm gonna get squat 360 bench 270 pounds oh, 275 pounds and deadlift I'm gonna go for 380 I might even go for four, but 380. I'll see how 350 feels, then I can say if I can put another 50 or just another another 30. All right, YouTube. Wish me luck. You got this. Give me chocolate. You got this. Alright, I'm gonna run. Alright. Oh, you back? That was a good fucking job, though. That's it. You on? Me. 